was a great honor to have uh, Brian Lacey here today to talk to us and give us um, information about our heritage, particularly with reference to um, to Art Fahey or McGonagall Sport, and also to uh, Ballymagrorty Monastic site. So this site has three names: um, Gaspoli, McGonagall's Fort, or an Irish Art Fahad. An Art Fahad is, is is mentioned um, in the annals in the year 642, uh, when the king Donald Macedo, um, a very important king of Kenyal Connell, allegedly moves here to this fort in the year 642. The following year, he dies here at this fort. The people known as the Kenyal Connell who of course give their name to Tir Hunnell. Well, three generations of kings of that family in the sixth century, the late sixth and the seventh century, conquered this area. And the first of them we know about is a man called Aid, said as Hugh, but Aid, an Irish, old Irish, Aid Macanivera. And he died in the year 596. And he almost certainly, although there are other explanations for the name, he almost certainly is the man who gave his name to the barony name, the uh, Tirhu or Tiraid um, in Irish. He almost certainly, he was a very, very powerful king, the most powerful king in Ireland. And in 642, Donald Macedo, who claimed, as I said, to be High King of Ireland, crosses over this estuary and takes possession of the fort up there on the hill. And that's recorded in the annals as a major event. It's like, you know, the fall of Constantinople or something, it's, it's treated as one of the great events of early Irish history. In the year 551, the annals record the death of a man called Fuhud McConnell. And he is almost certainly the man whose name, his, whose the, the Hillfort is named after. And not only do we have his name and the year he died in the year 551, but we have his, gene his genealogy is preserved. But there were at least three different kingdoms that were kind of pushing against each other in this area. And there were four separate saints and the churches founded by these, these are founded, um, are followers of those saints. St. Patrick, St. Columkill, St. Malash of Devonish and Inish Murray, and St. Ogan of Ardstraw. And they, those, th those saints had, if you like, their followers. And those followers were in turn kind of part of the structure of the secular kingdoms of the time. And the, 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 the battles and the conflict between them uh, re it was, was a, re a reflection of the very fact that this is a border area. This is the most northerly point or the northernmost fort of a kingdom that stretches from here originally um, to the Urn, way down into Sligo, and indeed or originally, originally, all the way down to County Meath and Kildare, the kingdom of Kenil Carabra. And Carabra was supposed to be a son of Nile of the Nine Hostages. Well, the Drum Home Heritage Weekend was just fantastic. I can't believe on such a wet evening that such a crowd of people came out. It was really great to be involved in the Drum Home and Heritage event for Her Heritage Week. It really was terrific. I couldn't get over the number of people that turned up and was so well organised. And then a really terrific party, you could call it, in, in the big barn there with all the kids singing and dancing and the musicians. Listening to the, the history and kids getting up singing and dancing and uh, fabulous musicians.
was impressed by the number of people who came out in this kind of Donegal weather. Well, for me personally, um, having just come back from um, being abroad for 32 years, I think I had even more appreciation. And of course then, the food and the catering and the way the place was all laid out shows great community involvement. So Home Head Society were uh, founded just three years ago in 2015 and uh, uh, our mission is to promote the uh, very rich heritage that we have uh, in our parish. And it's one of the few places in Ireland for which we have such detailed evidence for the 6th and 7th century. Full marks to the organisers, it was a tremendous event. We hope that you found the walk interesting and that you will bring away happy memories. So farewell unto ye, buddy, buddy, Steve Gannon Springs. Hey. Hey.